Hi guys, welcome back to the new video of Ejuvent. Today we are discussing the main books which can be used by the students for studying the topics in the veterinary. That means different books like Indian authors and other authors. We will be discussing all the books which is used in veterinary curriculum. So for the first years, the veterinary anatomy. So the Dyson Sack, the Delman's Histology, the Archegos Veterinary Anatomy. For the embryology, this is Fitzpatrick book. They are very important books. See, I have referred uh, many times Archegos and Dyson Sack for the images and all. So this is Sisson and Grossman is a very important book of anatomy. There are three volumes. And Victoria Aspinall and Melanie Capillo. This is actually a book containing many important diagrams, many 3D diagrams like this. So you will be understanding the very basics of structural organization of animal bodies and internal viscera. So this is the William J. Baxter histology book. So the, this book has got many images on the histological sections. This can be used in the comparative pathology study also. So for you guys who want to get more pictures, you can completely rely on Victoria Aspin and Veterinary Anatomy. So moving to Veterinary Physiology. So Duke's Physiology. This is the veterinary considered as the Bible for Veterinary Physiology students. It explains the mechanism in a very simple fashion. That is very simple way. You can get the latest edition and Cunningham's textbook of Veterinary Physiology. Here the pictures are more. So, Livestock Production Management, G.C. Banerjee book and NSR Shastri is the best book recommended for LPM. And this also, the Sunil Kumar advances in LPM book can also be used. Left, uh, this has almost all values and the data, and this also has the same values and data. But uh, I think NSR Shastri is a more reliable book. These are also Livestock Production Management books you can use. So, the Veterinary Biochemistry book. I think the textbook of this. Uh, this AITBS publishes. Yeah, I have used this book. This is very good book and actually this is not for purely veterinary students But actually it explains the biochemical actions in a simple manner This also can be used RS Dhanuthia book. This has more pictures and Semantic illustrations are mentioned here This is a question bank So now animal genetics and breeding moving to the second year topics so these are the best genetic books and Arun Kumar Tomar genetics book is the best book and the Kanagaraj book is also good for more pictures and more micro genetical value. So moving to animal nutrition book, DV Reddy is writing the best book for Indian students who are practicing nutrition, animal nutrition technologies. So GC Banerjee is also producing animal nutrition and feeds book. GC Banerjee is a good publisher and the principles of Animal Nutrition and Feed Technology DV Reddy. This was a very important book and this created a different type of variety knowledge. So moving to veterinary pathology. Uh, mainly two books are used in veterinary pathology among all the students. That is Ganti A. Shastri and J. L. Vegard. Vegard and Ganti A. Shastri books are mainly used. And this can be used in case of disease of poultry, poultry atlases. For veterinary microbiology, there are several divisions that is virology, immunology, mycology, bacteriology, etc. You can use several books in case of medical. So these are MCQs. So this is a very good book for veterinary virology. And QB's immunology or Owen's immunology is the best book I have read for immunology. This explains all immunological aspects in a very simple way. The cell reactions, the MHC and all. Very simple way. And for starters, Royce Essential is also good. And Iron Artisan. This is a book which has got many uh, hyper level thinking problems. Because a UG student will not be able to read and digest the veterinary immunology Tizard book completely. I don't think so. You can do this. So, Dilip K. Sharma, this is a normal textbook of veterinary virology and simple languages. And there are many schematic illustrations used. So, moving to the pharmacology books. So the Harpal Singh Sandhu or the Sandhu's Pharmacology is the best book I have read ever. 
and the essentials of medical pharmacology that is actually for the MBBS students KD Tripathi is over but it's a good book the classification and, and all is very good so the David E. Golan's principles of pharmacology it's actually connect the physiology with the pathology and the pharmacology so it's very good book if you are getting more time you can read and create a basic knowledge on the pharmacological pathological physiological principles so Ramesh C. Gupta's toxicology is a very good book in veterinary toxicology it leads about the very toxical principles and how they act the mechanism of action and all so going to the veterinary public health or the public health sector books it's actually the Sherry book elements of veterinary public health the Sherry book ICR New Delhi and the Oxford of Zoonosis it actually leads with the public health control MBBS students are also using this book because Zoonosis is the point of connection with the veterinarian and a human doctor this parks preventive medicine and social medicine can be used in case of environmental hygiene portions and also in case of sanitary measures so this is a mcq question book question and answer book and this is also mcq book extra human and veterinary public health new trends it leads with the mostly emerging zoonosis and emerging health protocols so moving to veterinary parasitology the ma taylor and S.C. Mandal is the best book I have used. S.C. Mandal explains all things in a very simple fashion. Also, the B.B. Bhatia book is very good. Since it's Kalyani Publishers, they will be, uh, they will not be having much figures in a colorful manner. But also, uh, they will be having the no, sessions very clear. Veterinary Parasitology, M.A. Taylor is the best book I have seen. Because... Classific you should rely on veterinary parasitology, M.A. Taylor and R.L. Coop for the best classification of parasites. And this is the best next book, Souls B, E.J. Souls B's book, Protozoa and Helm in the and Normal Clinical Parasitology book. So moving to the Livestock Products Technology, Jagdish Prasad and Prabhat Kumar Mandal. This was a good book and Meat Science. You can completely rely on Jari Saha because it explains as per the VCA syllabus. New VCA syllabus, they are explaining the topics. They are also having many questions in their end pages. This is a very important book for meat science. The basic meat values. You can rely upon the meat pH, meat, other things, the physical chemical pH values and all. You can lead on meat science. So these are animal husbandry extension books. This is a very good book, Madhya Dharagan book. Veterinary medicine, uh, Amaredu Chakrabarti's preventive veterinary medicine is a good book, and uh, this is a very nice book. So, equine respiratory medicine and surgery is it's actually for equine medicine section, and these are for ophthalmic sessions, equine medicine surgery sections. These are small animals surgery or medicine books. This is uh, ruminant medicine. This is avian medicine book and this is, uh, I think this is a very good book for Indian students because it will be leading with the epidemiology in Indian scenario and disease conditions will be uh, mostly prevailing due to the epidemiological reasons. So, we will be studying the disease epidemiology and the medicine used to prevent it. So, moving to the veterinary surgery, Essentials of Veterinary Surgery, A. Venugopalan is a very good book for Indian veterinary students to read and write. It will, it has been published many years ago and it has got a simple knowledge that is everything will be explained in a very simple manner so the next textbook is uh, summer halter book this is also containing many diagrams and all uh, this is according to the new vca syllabus that is msv 16 these are international books used in veterinary surgical techniques ophthalmic surgery equine surgery this is a very good book for equine medicine and equine surgery so these are anesthesiology book used in veterinary surgery and radiology and anesthesial techniques. So I think Lump and Jones is the best book for veterinary anesthesia and analgesia. Now moving to the animal reproductive or veterinary obstetrics part. Actually, the half is is good in animal gynecology. That is gynecological aspects. And Stephen J. Roberts is uh, good in obstetrics, obstetric part and genital diseases. Uh, this is also a very good book. It has got many pictures and mainly it is concentrating on Indian animals. Pradeep Kumar, uh, Gynecology and Obstetrics is also a very nice book. Uh, now, the Sex on Earth. Uh, it's a very good book actually. It is 
having many secrets of the reproductive patterns and reproductive methods of wild animals of snakes of birds and all things in the earth uh, if you have get, if you're getting much time means you can read this book it's very interesting and this is the question bank on video so for livestock farm practices you can use the books used in lpm and animal husbandry books for veterinary clinic clinical practices the merck veterinary manual is a very important book if you are getting the pdf version i think affording the veterinary veterinary merck manual is a little bit costlier it has got around 10000 rupees 12000 rupees etc but if at all you are having this book means it is very nice so these are some pg preparatory books used for indians indian pg icr pg and kerala pg or whatever state pgs these are good books vet scan any scan vet rapidex these are all nice books for veterinary mcqs thank you also uh, for veterinary pg you can rely on many other pdfs prepared by the colleges many colleges are preparing pdf or phd jrf material by the teachers of their college so you can completely rely on that material uh, like i'll be providing the link thank you